Welcome to MicroWorld's EX Logo Lesson 8A. We're going to look at variables, not just one, but maybe even two and even three. I've got my programs over here on the right side from last time. Square, triangle, polygon, and we're going to make a new one. If you remember those circles from a time back, we're going to make a program that does all those circles, but it'll control the number of circles, the size of the circles, and even we'll do this pin size. We can have three variables. So here we go. On the procedures page, two circles or um, something like that. We'll do X and Y and Z. But you have to remember which variable controls which things. I'm going to make my X control the number of circles, the Y control the size of the circles, and the Z control the size of the pin. And we'll see how that changes here in a moment. Well, we're going to do repeat because that's how you do all these things over and over again. X, make sure the colon is right by the X. Then we're going to make a circle. Repeat. 360 is always a circle no matter what. Forward. Y, make sure it's colon Y. Times, make sure there's a space. 3.14. And uh, you might even be able to use pi. I'm not sure about that. Divided by 360. Right turn 1. That's a total of 360 degrees, by the way. Repeat 360. Uh, one, one, time, one angle at a time is 360 degrees. Here's the crucial part. I want to turn so that it's nice and symmetrical. Like on the other ones, like the program above on polygon, 360 divided by y. 360 divided by y will give me the correct turn. And then we're going to put another variable for z. We'll set the pen size. And we'll call that z. There, now you can see it. Sorry about that. All right, and that should do it. Hit enter and end. Now I come down to here, CG it, circles. Let's say I want to make four circles, size 100, pen size 1. No, oh, that didn't work. Hmm. No, I know. It's the number of circles. Never mind. I made a mistake. It's the uh, re right turn 360 divided by X. Oh, well, even programmers make mistakes. There's four. I'm sure you caught it. There's six. There's eight. There's 20. Let's say I want to make them bigger. 150. 20 circles, just bigger. 200. 20 circles, bigger. Let's make the pen size 5. Oh, yeah. Deeper. Pen size 10. Now, did you notice the first one, the very first one, isn't quite as big? That's because the variable at the end, z, it still did it from the first one, and then it kicked into the second one. If I change that variable at the beginning, set pen size z to the first, take it out of that repeat, I won't have that problem. And what happens if you make it crazy, like 20? Well, then it's really dark. Cool. What happens if we make 30 of them? Change it to 80. Pen size 8. Too close. Too small. Pen size 1. Three variables. Declare them in the front. Make sure you know which one's which. 
Make sure that you understand the math behind it in algebra, and it can do a lot of power for you.